it's an affirmation. It's a, it's someone saying that, um, good job, you know, uh, we believe in you. I was so excited just to, uh, that someone did believe in me. You know? uh, I hope someday I'll be able to do the same thing. I hope that, you know, it's not just that I'm going to be taking, that I'll actually give back to my community, to, uh, to, to my school. I, I appreciate Fresno State so much. I graduated from Fresno State myself in 1972 from the business department, and, but uh, at that time I was contemplating being a music major myself, but decided that I would prefer accounting and I switched majors. We'll go to recitals, we'll go to orchestrational performances, and we'll go to piano recitals, even though we don't have a, a student uh, in, the, in the department any longer. We're sort of surrogate parents when we attend these events. That's what we feel like when we're there. When you go to a concert, or when you go to a performance, a theatrical performance, or anything to do with the arts, it just sends you into a different world. You, you're, you kind of forget about what's happening around you, all the negativity, and it just enriches your soul. I think that's the beauty of the arts. It takes us to another place, a place of, of serenity and happiness. It has always uh, hurt me, you know, not to have finished school. You know, I had children. I had to, you know, you always make those decisions to do what's right in this life. But I, I was, I've been waiting, right, for that time. I have a, an older daughter, and she has four children. She'd had a kind of a nervous breakdown. She uh, left her four children, and so we took them along with us and we moved in with my parents for one year. I said, you know, it makes sense to me that, you know, we have to make a change. We have to make a change, you know, because poverty was right there. What, what we decided was I would go to school and that would give me enough time to take care of the kids also at the same time. I started my journey at Fresno State, which was, it is a sacrifice, but it's incredible. It's been incredible. It's, it is my dream. This is my dream, you know, right now. Uh, the kids that are studying the arts, they're, they're at a little bit of a disadvantage because of the time commitment to master their skill, whether it's in painting or in music, piano, instrumental, vocal. It is, it's a huge time commitment. And to, to be able to help these kids uh, follow their passion with a little bit of financial support is something that they will never forget because it's going to save them time and it will allow them to master their skills uh, at, a, at a better rate. If you don't have any money, then everything stops. You know, if I didn't have that scholarship, I, I, couldn't, I wouldn't be able to pay my gas to get to Fresno State, you know, or buy my books or buy my supplies. This semester is different because I'm, I, I actually got a job teaching at Fresno State and I picked up a um, professor's assistantship, so I'm, I'm doing that also. If you look at the college, the Fresno State College, and you look at the huge financial support there's been for the business department and for the agricultural department, um, it's huge compared to the arts. And so, um, they're not getting their fair share, and maybe it's a representation of the culture here in Fresno. Uh, so, you know, anything that we can do to help the arts, mm -hmm. I think, is important. You know, this time and energy and, and the, everything that you do, it does make a difference. Uh, sometimes I think people think that, you know, your efforts don't matter, but they do. They do. It's. Uh, it all comes together in the end. Thank you. That's it. Thank you.